Shikamuni Buddha, when he was alive, what I mean is that when he was still in the physical plane, in the physical body, he introduced to us so many wonderful lands, what we call the Buddha lands. And Jesus Christ, when he was on earth, he also introduced to us many so-called heavens, different levels of consciousness. Also, he has told us, in the house of my father, there are many mansions. You remember? Yeah? What does it mean by many Buddha lands? What does it mean by, in the house of my father, there are many mansions? I would like to introduce to you one of the Buddha's land. Uh, you can also say it's one of the mansions of God. According to Buddhism, there is one Buddha's land which is very beautiful. Well, there are many different, but today we speak about one of them. This Buddha land is called the land of the king of the medicine, Buddha. When this Buddha was in a physical body and roamed around the world liberating sentient beings, he has twelve kind of vows for the benefit of the people. What does it mean by making vows? When you are practicing bodhisattva hood, mean when you're practicing to become a saint, you like to help people in such, such and such a way, yes. And so you wish inside your heart that people will benefit from you in certain ways. And these are so-called vows, yeah? Mm. And through the power of your practice, your virtues, and your willpower, goodwill, these vows will become true. So one of the vows of the king of medicine, Buddha, who we call Yao Shifu in Chinese, yeah? one of his vows is that if anyone come to him afflicted with any kind of disease, body and mind, he will first give them release, and give them food to eat, medicine to take care of their health, and then slowly he will make them realize the highest potential power within themselves, with what we call Buddha nature, or what we call the kingdom of God. When the disciples of the Buddha went to this uh, Buddhas of medicine land, they saw that the land was endowed with so much precious stones, and the earth was made with crystal. Most of the Buddha's land are similar in character, the land of the medicine Buddha and the land of Amitabha Buddha are similar in characters. The earth are made a kind of crystal or lapis lazuli stone, and then houses are made from seven precious jewels, uh, rubies and all kind of things, yeah, diamonds, uh, gold, and etc. And the people who live in this kind of land are ever, ever joyful, ever happy, never have any difficulty, never heard of any misery. Even the word of misery doesn't exist in that land. How much less they have to experience this kind of suffering. Whereby in our world, which we call the earth, there is a kind of mixture between suffering and happiness. Sometimes we suffer, sometimes we are happy. Some people are suffering, some people are happy. Hmm? It is different in the land of the Buddha. Only happiness, only joy, only bliss, only love. No suffering, no misunderstanding, no violence, no blaming, no quarreling, no war. What is the purpose of the Buddha by telling people all these beautiful lands so that they can realize that there are other beautiful planets which we can go and live and stay permanently? 
no need to cling to this miserable world if we think this world is too miserable for us. Then we must not stay here. We can have a choice. That is the purpose of the Buddha coming into this world. That is the purpose of Jesus when he came into the world, to introduce to people of our world many other different planets where life is more enjoyable, more suitable for our mentality or our desire.